I don't know what date or or uh, uh, or even even what currency you're talking about. I don't know. Last question: What tool do you use to draw the lines for tunnel patterns and to measure reversals? You show this in the video, but not how you do it. Well, this is using Ensign software, and this is the special tool that they have called Formations. And literally, I can click one button and do this, and now, bang, I've got a tunnel pattern. Okay, it's very useful. If you're doing this on Interbank, uh, here's the way that you go about it. Uh, you go up here to the toolbar, you get the trend line tool, and you draw one. Draw one trend line. Okay, the trend line is going to come up. Make sure that this ray is not checked. Okay, a ray, if for those of you who don't remember, uh, means a line that continues on forever. Okay, so you want that, make sure that that's not checked, and voila, here's your trend line. Now what you want to do is go and draw a line right over it. Okay, so they're the same length. Now what you want to do is click on the line once. You see three little boxes pop up, bing, bing, bing. Click on the middle box, voila. Now you have the beginnings of a tunnel. So what do you do with this line? Well, remember, a tunnel has three parts. It has A to B, right? It has B to C, and then C to D. Okay, so we're looking at A, B, C, and then some point D. So what I'm going to do is take this line, if I can grab it, oh yeah, here, come on, don't know what happened there, and I want to place it right here, okay, so I'm anchoring the top of the line and it's moving down, you can see it's off of the, off of the chart, but that's how I would gauge a tunnel pattern, so when I squish this in so we can see it, now I've got a tunnel, A, B, C, D. So I would look for a reversal somewhere down there. Very simple. All right, everyone. Uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to relax, get something to eat, and try and recover uh, from today. Also, just so everybody knows, tomorrow being Thursday, I'm not going to be taking calls, getting ready uh, for the live event. I've got to take a lot of time to relax.